First mini split with an ERV. I've never seen a mini split that can pull in fresh air. But with this, we've got a two-way ventilation system that will connect somehow to this wall mount air handler. I got this system from tosockdirect.com. I'm gonna post the link to their website. I'm also gonna give you a discount so you can check this out. I do not know if this is available yet because I've seen pre-order. Um, but I'm excited to do the unboxing today. I will be installing this and I'll show you where I'm gonna install this and I'll give you a link to that video. We're gonna unbox this equipment, take a look at it and just figure out how it works and how we're gonna be able to put this together. Uh, if you haven't seen a mini split with an ERV, definitely comment below and let me know. I look forward to doing the install video and I'm also gonna show you a couple covers that I've got behind me that I may be using for this install. You're watching Taddy Digest. This is HVAC Tips for Technicians slash homeowners. Let's get started. Go ahead and unbox the outdoor unit first. This is their one ton 12,000 BTU model and it's 115 volt. And they have two models available that have the ERV. One is the 12K and one is the two ton or the 24K. It looks like the equipment comes with drain pipe and this is the larger copper line. Looks like it is a half inch, it looks like. And then we've got our cable here and it looks like we have our other line set here. So pretty good, good looking unit. Looks like it's got a coated coil. This outdoor unit works with the new A2L refrigerants. It has been severely damaged during shipment. <laughs> Look at this. This happens quite a bit. Uh, you can take a see over here, there's a dent here. There's a dent up top. This thing is really damaged. I wouldn't want to install this for my customer, but I'm willing to install it here uh, just to test it out. But you can see right here, it says 24.5 sear. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and unbox the indoor wall mount air handler and then we'll move on to the ERV. Let's take out the wall mount air handler and take a look and see what it looks like. Hopefully we don't have any damage from shipment on our wall mount. Taking a look, looks like it's packaged really well. Got the foam. Oh wow, I like this design. Very nice. I love it when the filter's on top. Looks like we got our cable. Looks like we got a screw that holds the bracket on. So it looks really good. I like it. Drains on this side. We'll probably want to move that over here. Uh, not a lot of line set here, but there's enough. Looks like there's at least a foot. But I like this design. Look at this. Filter on top. Coated coil just like the outdoor unit. And then this is really nice, feels good. Okay, looks like a good looking indoor unit. I like the look of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ERV. User manual, that's super important. Looks like we've got an app that's used to control this equipment. The wireless remote controller, I've got to brag on. This looks super cool. Um, it's not too bulky, it's just fits right in your hand, super nice. Got a couple flare fittings here, that's nice. They, they give us extra flare fittings with our line sets that already have the flare connectors. Now, let's take a look at the ERV. Looks like we've got uh, templates, templates. That's nice for installation. We've got our two-way ventilation system manual. We've got our HEPA filter. Looks like we've got our two connectors for our air inlet and outlet. Wow, looks like we've got a hose. That is cool. Uh, this right here is part of the ventilation system. Oh, okay, so we got another hose. This is for routing our air, so this is an air duct. Both of those are air ducts. And then we've got, oh, okay, some foam insulation. 
and looks like we got a couple plugs. I bet this is what connects the ERV to the actual PCB of our wall mount air handler. And it looks like this is the actual ERV. So let's take a look at all this. This ERV can be installed on the right side of the wall mount air handler or the left side. And when you install it, you wanna make sure that you use the template. And that template's gonna show you how big the hole size has gotta be for these two pipes to go through the wall. You can drill the individual two inch holes. You can see where this is almost cut out or you can drill the almost four and a half inch hole. So make sure you use the template, make sure you use the manual. Now this part right here is this little sub assembly that goes outside. It is rainproof. You will install it like this on the wall. And this is where not only your fresh air will go in, but your stale air, or your room air will go out. You wanna make sure that you have screws and silicone. That way you make this uh, as tight as possible. Uh, there is an extra filter for this right here. And you can see where these individual holes are on the back. And it looks like these pipes will just go right over there. So see that? That's nice and tight, so that's good. So this is pretty cool. I've never seen anything like this. Looks like it's very well made. It's got a filter right here that's washable, just like the filter on top of the wall mount air handler, but you've also got a heavy duty HEPA filter. So this is really nice. Also inside, there is a heat exchanger, just like you would see a type of core inside of an ERV, an energy recovery ventilator. If you don't know what that is, I will post a link down below to a video I did that shows you what an ERV is because I've used them in my grow facilities to bring in fresh air. Overall, pretty nice. Other than shipping damage, which happens, um, they have no control over it. I have no control over it. Um, I'll probably go ahead and install this just because I don't wanna wait for another one. Um, if you wanna check out that install video, click the link right here. Go down and click the link in the description. I am excited. Uh, I'll show you where I'm installing it. We are going to take out this p tact and we're gonna install that mini split with an ERV. Typically, I would not recommend installing a mini split inside of a bathroom because maybe there might be some chemicals, some excessive moisture, or maybe some off-gassing. But we have that ERV built on that mini split, so we're gonna be providing fresh air from outside. So that's gonna help that mini split have an extended lifespan. So we're gonna take this out. This is 230 volt. So I'm just gonna put a cover right here, probably put some conduit on the other side, lead down to a disconnect. I'll show you the outside. Here's where we're gonna see our line sets, exit the exterior of the building, and then go down and we'll have our outdoor unit placed probably right here on this side of our little water hose stand and our hydrant. So right here, outdoor unit. Then you're gonna be able to see that sub assembly for that ERV that comes with our mini split that's gonna be mounted outside. Let me show you a couple covers, one that I may be installing that's really cool, and I'll give you a discount. Got a couple different line set covers from Permacover. If you have never seen permacover.com and you need a really cool, durable metal line set cover for your line sets, go check out permacover.com, link right here, and I'm gonna give you the discount code, it's TATTY5. You can get 5% off on a new cover. Now, I'm probably gonna use the copper cover for this project. Um, I may not be using just my regular line set cover that's plastic. I've got another project. I just wanna show you this in today's video. This color is country pine. So really cool. This is gonna be for a project, which you'll see the video. Uh, but this one, I'm probably gonna use this one for this project, it's copper. Uh, Permacover has all kinds of different colors, probably 50 more colors. Um, diamond plate, copper, stainless steel, comes with all the hardware you need. Look at this, they even have these copper looking screws. That is so cool. So they're offering these custom covers to be able to fit the needs of your project, whether your exterior looks like brick and you need your cover to look like that brick, you need to check out Permacover. Definitely use that discount code. 
If you like this video and you want to learn more about this unit, go check out the installation video. I'll put the link in the description and also the link right here. If you want one of these, go check out TOSOT Direct and be sure and use the discount code that I put down in the link in the description and I flash on the screen right here to be able to get a percentage off. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technician slash Homeowner. This is Taddy Digest. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.